Well, uh, servos are in the fuselage now. Um, these ones, these servos are um, Hyperion's DS09's. Um, Hyperion World were clearing them. Oh, this is going back, I don't know, a year, I guess. They were clearing them out st stupidly cheap, so I might have bought the odd one or two, and I had them already. Um, if you don't have your servos, I'd strongly recommend following along the lines of the um, D47s that's recommended by John and Joe. Uh, and using, <coughs> excuse me, using an adjustable, the adjustable mount. I don't know if it's a, if it's an optional extra, uh, but I'd certainly consider it strongly for simplicity. So how I did these, I mean, there is no adjustment here. They're fixed. I figured that the only real possibility for change once it, once it was set was thermal expansion by the carbon fiber push rod. And, you know, that's going to be not much. So I can just use my trim to adjust it. Um, so these are now fixed. I used the, the plans concept for setting the neutral position. So there's just two sticks that are taped together at the back and clamped at the front. So that set the zero for the control surface. <coughs> and then uh, once, so as you see it there, all that, that mounting paraphernalia in here that is supplied as they come from uh, Hyperion in the in the 09s I've got some DS 11s as well and it didn't come with these little side mounting pieces as well as that square adapter that go in the hole so that was all very neat all I did here was to laminate some uh, three mil ply laminated some three mil ply together and cut some blocks. Putting the servo in was a matter of setting the tail to zero. I've already got the um, the L-shaped the L-shaped end brass tube. I've already got that glued onto here and I just did that by well literally holding it back along the push rod. So fitting it on sliding it back applying the glue and then sliding it forward until the glue set and then that put that glued the tube onto the carbon uh, push rod once that happened then it was assembling the whole thing blocks and all so it was essentially essentially like this um, but with the blocks on it and then i was able to pivot it around that Pivot it around, apply some small blobs of glue on the, on the plywood blocks, flip it over, and and set it down in the neutral position with the control surface fixed. And once that set, I undid the screws, took the servo out, and really gave it a good gluing to the to the bottom surface. So that's fixed. That's in. Um, I'll just release the tailplane. Centering gadget, motivator, centering gadget. And we've got wiggly bits. So now, um, to the next on to the next phase the next stage over and out